Hare Krishna, a very warm welcome to all of you. Today I will be speaking on the four yugas. Each yuga is an age with specific characteristics in which incarnations of Krishna appear. The four yugas make up a cycle called Divya Yuga which continues for 4 lakh 32,000 years. 1,000 of these yugas equal one day of Brahma, which is called Kalp. Brahma's lifespan is 100 years of his time. In each yuga, there is a specific process of self-realization. Now we'll see the process of self-realization for different yugas. Sat Yuga, sometimes also called Krita Yuga, the golden age, which continues for 17 lakhs 28 thousand years. The process of self realization in this yuga is meditation on Vishnu. During this yuga, the majority of the population is situated in the mode of goodness, and the average lifespan at the beginning of the yuga is 1 lakh years. Treta Yuga, also called the Silver Age, which continues for 12 lakh 96 thousand years. And the process of self-realization is the performance of opulent yagyas. The average lifespan is 10 thousand years. It is during this age that Varna Ashram Dharma is introduced. Dwapar Yuga or the Bronze Age, which continues for 8,64,000 years. And the process of self realization is the worship of the deities within temples. Godly qualities are reduced to 50% by now, and the average life expectancy is only 1,000 years. Kalyu, the Iron Age of hypocrisy and quarrel, continues for 4,32,000 years. Lord Krishna appeared in his original transcendental form right before the beginning of Kalyu. The process of self-realization is Sankirtan, the chanting of the holy names of the Lord. God consciousness is reduced to 25% of the population and life expectancy is only 100 years. By now, already 5000 years of Kalyu have passed and it is predicted that by the end of the Yuga, people will hardly be older than 20 years and their only food will be meat. Thank you. Hare Krishna.